So quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys something that I found. It was a screen grab of a unidentified aerial phenomena that was captured on YouTube. And it's actually an older video. I screen recorded it, changed the contrast and the saturation. This is something that all of you can do. And what I saw tripped me out because it was unexpected. And I'll just show you here because it basically was something that I was looking for to be like a cutout pasted thing that I was gonna prove to not be real. But instead I saw something that wasn't on the original footage the way it was presented. And I haven't seen anyone say anything about it or talk about it, which is what I would presume you would do if you would fake it to this level where you're zooming in and adjusting things at this level. So take a look and then I'll show you something else. Object flies past the plane. MJ Benias agrees. Pilots are the people who work in the sky and operate in it, so they're going to have the best view of any potential UFOs around them. We turn this video over to our aviation expert, Tim McMillan. He thinks whatever was shot over Medellin is too slow to be any kind of plane or missile, and it looks nothing like a drone. Initially, when it starts... So that's the exact video. That's the clip. You can find it, screen record, change your contrast. Now, when I'm looking for that white line, which you're seeing jump around over here right now what freaked me out was when i saw that arch that solar flare that actually shows up right here very clearly i mean in multiple times in the video by the way but you're basically seeing like a magnetic collapse of like plasma around this machine and you're not able to see that on the regular video no one in the video talks about it it's not like they made a point to inspect the video change the contrast and saturation and then bring it up in fact it's an old video no one that i've seen yet has talked about this it wasn't to like the congressional hearings that i said i'm gonna make the video because i had been talking about this since joe rogan and then we're talking about those guys in the islands who are working on some machines. And I was like, maybe it's that. Maybe they, those guys are flying around or something. And so I was like, I'm just going to look at that video and just inspect it. Really looking for it to be fake, actually. I thought I was going to have some proof that it was fake. And the opposite happened. And it really tripped me out. So let me know what you guys think. All right. So this is even crazier. I go to chat GTP who, by the way, is not aware of what's going on. And I tried not to use keywords, hot button words, and still ask it, what kind of energy propulsion device would cause a fluctuating energy aurora with different intensity levels and also have energy arches that resemble a solar flare? And it had answers. The scenario describing sounds somewhat similar to the effects observed in the magnetic hydrodynamic propulsion or plasma-based propulsion systems, but at the greatly amplified scale. And so it goes on, and you can pause and read this. I'm going to move forward a little bit, but it talks about that. It talks about this plasma-based propulsion, which is exactly plasma-based and fusion propulsion. These are the two things that were being talked about when I was watching this video that was older than all of this. The video is many times older than, like years older than this. So when Joe Rogan had those guys on there talking about the plasma-based propulsion devices and then all of a sudden they released the fusion, it seemed like a race that was going on. Something that I've heard in my circles being in the energy game as well. And so now you're seeing artificial intelligence suggest it might be propulsion from fusion or plasma. And then it says the energy arches referring to that resemble solar flares could potentially be explained by uh, particularly intense energy discharges from the propulsion device or from some sort of magnetic containment field used to control the propulsion medium. That's what stuck out to me. And I said, what if, what is it called if the energy field is oscillating like uh, around the object like that? So I was trying to, to give me some terms maybe that I didn't know and, or wasn't thinking about. And then I said, is there anything else that you could think of that a metal object would be moving in a straight line above the cloud, seeming to rotate or tumble, but with an unpredictable energy field flaring up randomly, including arches that resemble solar flares? Given the scenario, this sounds more like an advanced technological device rather than a natural phenomenon. 
and it says advanced propulsion system as discussed previously an advanced propulsion system like a plasma base or magnetic hydrodynamic one could theoretically produce such effects but remember such an observable aura like effect would require an energy output far beyond our current technologies so i know that i need to update it with what's going on experimental aircraft yep it could be an experimental aircraft testing new forms of propulsion energy shields or other technologies the unpredictable flaring might be due to the experimental nature of the technology space debris uh, space debris excuse me a tumbling piece of space debris could be heated up due to atmosphere re-entry causing a plasma sheath to form around it and this is kind of interesting extraterrestrial technology if we move into the realm of science fiction yank, yank. This could be some sort of alien craft with technology far beyond our understanding. The energy emissions could be a byproduct of the propulsion or energy systems. I thought this was interesting. Quantum levitation. A superconducting material can be made to float above a magnetic field due to the Meissner effect. I might be saying that incorrectly. Also known as quantum levitation, if the magnetic field is fluctuating in a specific way, it might cause the object to rotate or tumble. This is, however, limited to small scales in very specific conditions and wouldn't, and wouldn't explain the energy emissions. So I said, <laughs> first, it's important for you to know that since you've been trained, China has been able to create stable fusion for up to 15 minutes. There's a congressional hearing with Navy pilots who have sworn that there is advanced recovered alien vehicles with visual and radar confirmations as well as eyewitness testimonies for the advanced technologies and covering up this advanced technology. There's also talk of using plasma engines. So when you talk about a superconductor allowing an object to float above it, what if the magnetic field is in a toroidal shape around it, encasing it? That would be to contain the plasma, which is also why it arches and encircles back into itself. I've also heard of pilots describe a dark cube inside of a clear, transparent orb. I didn't see the orb. I saw. I didn't see the orb. I saw that I described to as a tumbling cube surrounded by a field only visible to me when I adjusted the contrast and the saturation of the video and could see puffs of energy in different directions but these arches were also being formed. The information you provided gives a very interesting context. Let's try to hypothesize a scenario based on this new information and previous scientific principles. The description of a tumbling cube surrounded in a field with energy arches is very reminiscent of the concept of a magnetic confinement fusion device. In these devices, a toroidal donut-shaped magnetic field is used to confine plasma. This is the principle behind the tokamak, maybe, <laughs> and stellarator fusion reactors. A plasma within a magnetic field would follow the field lines which might explain the arches you're describing. The plasma would be forced to loop back on itself, potentially creating an arc-like appearance. This would also explain why the energy field seems to fluctuate and flare up as the behavior of the plasma could be highly variable depending on the conditions within the magnetic field. The concept of a dark cube inside of a clear transparent orb might be explained by the core of the device itself, the cube, being surrounded by the magnetic containment field, containment, containment field, <laughs> the orb, the cube could be a superconducting magnet creating the toroidal magnetic field or it could be the source of the plasma. This would be an extremely advanced device far beyond current technology as of my last update and so on. But it basically says it's, it's interesting to note that the context of the UFO, UFO sightings, many have described seeing objects surrounded by glowing auras and fields and the movements of these objects seem to defy our current understanding of physics. It's crazy that I'm able to teach it things that are going on and then it can adjust and then give hyper uh, it can hypothesize what it might be and it matches on to a lot of the things that we're seeing or that we're talking about so I don't know Th this is blowing my mind <laughs> some of the stuff that's coming out and when you dig into it expecting to find fakery or debunking anything that will make you go ha that's what it is Nope, you find confirmations. That's where it gets really weird.